Hello everyone, this is my first Unreal Engine tutorial about Curled World Shader. I prepared some basic environment for this tutorial with a few basic materials we will work with. First of all, we need to add a new material function. Let's name it mf underscore chord world. And we need a material parameter collection. Uh, let's name it mpc underscore chord world. Now we need to add a few parameters to our parameter collection. First, we will add a few scalar parameters. First one we will name uh, flat distance. And second scalar parameter we will name uh, base distance. And a third scalar parameter we will name curve exponent, curve exp. And we need one vector parameters and we will name it direction. And we need to make our material function. Let's move it here. And we need to add absolute word position node. And we need to add camera position. Oh, here it is and we need to get a distance between these two positions now we need to subtract our collection parameter let's connect our new collection parameter and we need to select our material collection and flat distance parameter. Now we need to divide it by another collection parameter. This time it will be base distance. And let's move it a little. And now we need to power up this by another collection parameter now it will be curve exponent and we need to multiply this by collection parameter and if yes, there is some error we need to select our direction parameter here. Now it's fine. And this is our material function. That's all. Now we need to add our material function to our materials. Let's find a material function call node and let's select our material function here and connect it to a world position offset and let's compile it and now we need to do the same for all our other materials let's just copy this material function node and connect it to world position offset and save and do the same for this material And for our last material, and that's it. As you can see, all our meshes disappeared from our scene. They are still here. We can stand on these meshes, but we can see them. That's because we need to add some actual param non-zero parameters to our parameter collection.
Let's set 200 for our base distance parameter. As you can see, everything appeared again. And let's set 2 for our curve exponent parameter and minus 1 for blue z axis. As you can see, our curve shader works, but we've got some strange flickering of some of our meshes. That's because we've changed word position offset of those meshes. To fix this, we need to select our flickering meshes and we need to scroll to render position and we need to find bound scale parameter and change it to 5 for example but be careful with this parameter it too high values can decrease your game's performance now as you can see everything looks just fine no flickering and that's it. Now let's play with our shader parameters. As you can see, curve exponent parameter can change how dramatically your board is curved. Base distance parameter can change how far your curve is going. Flat distance is an interesting parameter that can set flat area around player's camera. As you can see, it's flat here, no curve. Now let's play with our direction parameter. As you can see by changing B value we can bend our world up or down. And by changing G value we can bend our environment left or right. And by changing R value, we can stretch our environment in front of us. That's all for this tutorial. I hope this video will be helpful for you. Thanks for watching.